Yo, what's going on everybody? KR or Kyler Rage here, whatever you prefer to call me. And tonight, watching scary TikTok videos. I just found his channel and everything. I'm gonna definitely have the um, link in the description in case you guys wanna watch it yourself. But it's almost Halloween, so, you know, let's watch some scary stuff. And I love horror stuff, you know, personally. So I can't wait to see what happens in these videos. And let's see if these videos are actually pretty scary, you know. But let's go ahead and check it out. 16 minutes, 36 seconds. Let's go ahead and see what we got tonight, y'all. Let's see. Alright, here we go. Don't really see what's going on yet. I barely see it, honestly. Okay, there it is. Okay. That's like something you would see if you have sleep paralysis. Like, if any of y'all have sleep paralysis, that's something you would see, honestly. It's pretty crazy right here. It's pretty spooky. Chinese or Oriental? Pardon me? Chinese. Chinese. So honestly, I don't really know what's going on. I'm trying to wait for them to show what's going on for real. They're having a party. What kind of, is it a birthday party with kids? Who, who's having the birthday party? Lula and some Okay, I feel like that was a waste of time. They, they didn't even really show, like, what's happening. She had to be also a type of medicine or something. When this is captured, That was such a late reaction. Like, if that was me, I would have been noticed that in the camera. Because, you know, I would be looking behind, you know, doing both, like looking behind me and looking at. Crazy. Okay, I ain't gonna lie, that took 
the ghost is pretty much telling you to get the hell out of the crib. That's my crib. You don't live here no more. That's pretty much what he's saying or she's saying. And look, they're not even taking it serious. They just sitting there like, ha ha, yeah, this is normal. You know, we we cooling. We're not gonna freak out or you know or try to figure out how to solve this problem. We're just gonna continually open the cabinet. Like, come on, bro. Pack all your shit and dip. Now they're in shock. Ooh, the cup is broken. Okay, here's the problem here. If you're calling your friend's name that many times and they still don't respond or even say like, you know, like, I know it looks like she's um, out of zone, you know what I'm saying? But like, she's staring right at her friend's soul. This is kind of like, she's being possessed in a way, but she's not. It's like, she's like she can't even control what she's doing. You get what I'm saying? See, and why is she still standing there? You know what I'm saying? Like, she's still recording. She's still staying in the same position. Like, I would have been jumped out the room. Like, what are you doing? You feel me? See, you, you get what I'm saying? Why are you still in there? It's not your friend at the moment. It's the demon. And you just standing there just waiting to get pounced on. Like, if she attack you, it's not your friend attacking you. It's the demon attacking you. Like, that's an evil spirit. For sure. See, that's wild. Shoot. Okay, I mean, like, maybe she was stuck there. Maybe she, like, would have moved a muscle or would have, like, moved off the bed. Like, maybe she would have reacted. But still, it's like, she called her mom's name so many times, and it took her mom forever to come into that room. That don't make no sense. But but I get it, though. I mean, she was staring at her soul, so, like, you know, it probably just had her really frightened. But still, I still would have tried to make the move quick. You know, it's better to make the move than just sit there, you know, and accept defeat. You get what I'm saying? was found captive in an isolated room in the authorities. In 1970, a blind mother named Irene Wood informed authorities that her 13-year-old daughter Susan was being held captive by her father Clark Wood. Riley? Why did she keep your daughter? Mm -hmm. Mr. Riley has no time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As authorities arrived, they find Susan immobilized to a potty chair in a malnourished state. It all began in 1957 when the father, Clark Whaley, imprisoned his 20 month year old daughter in a fit of rage after his mother had lost her life to a drunk driver. Susan, now known as Dingy, spent her life confined to her room, tied down between a crib and a potty chair. You lived at home? What were you sitting on when you made the cereal? Found her in an animal-like state with two whole sets of teeth, unable to speak or 
swallow food proper. On Clark's judgment day, he took his own life. 70-year-old Clark Wiley shot him himself just before he was to go to court and be arraigned for hell abuse. That last video didn't even make sense with the girl just sitting there in the soccer ball or something or you know a ball. That didn't make any sense. Oh wait, it's the same person. Never mind, it's the same person. Another video that didn't make sense. Like, what was they recording? Oh man. Where we see the figure. Just walks back and forth every day, all day. Now I've been over there a couple of times. Um, as I walk up on it, there's just nothing there. Um, yesterday I went. Yesterday was Easter. I went over there, but two big dogs that were off leash came out, and uh, it was time to go. Then we have this lot, so as soon as we're done with our schoolwork, I will record myself going across the street and show you that as you walk over, you no longer see what appears to be a person pacing back and forth for just hours and hours and days and days like day five. Okay, y'all, so at least what I'm going to learn from this is, well, I feel like everybody should know, if you see Smarty kind of just walking around the woods and stuff, it's best to not mess with what they got going on, and don't try to bring somebody else along too, especially if they want nothing to do with it. Now, I, you know, and don't scream out loud hello or shout out hello, you know, because then you're bothering them, and like I said, you have no idea who this person is or ghost, so it's, you know, it's just, it's best to just... Leave it alone, you know, unless they disturb the neighborhood. But it's best to just, just let them chill in the forest, you know. If, if that's what they call a home, I would just mind my business, honestly. That's just me, though. I'm so nervous. What was that? I don't know. Do you need help? Devon is trying to prove to her friends her home is haunted when this was captured.
Well, I said I pretty much told him that a ghost is inside that bathroom, you know, and it's crazy when the video cuts off like that, you know, because you never know if they moved out or they just continue to have the ghost problem, you know, that's the, that's the thing about these TikToks, you never know, like, what happens unless they do it, like, a double video or so, but hopefully they got the situation figured out. Okay, somebody was just literally standing like a stick figure, and it said they've been following them all day. <laughs> yeah, that's some, some creepy shit for real. Honestly, if if it's true that they say that that person you know was following them the whole day, but either way, that's that is super wild to have someone you know following you the whole day. You know, but they're out there at nighttime, so you know, but still crazy. Excuse me. A shocking video was captured by a woman's front dash cam while driving down a highway in Thailand. They see something horrifying. As they immediately start to the right to avoid something from their dash cam. A haunting white figure can be seen walking towards them. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, look. <laughs> he did the right thing and he kept going because I feel like some people would have seen that on their dash cam and they would have stopped and then, you know, trying to be all extra like, oh, y'all just seen a ghost. But look, he did the right thing and kept going. I would have kept going too. You know what I'm saying? You seen it. You got it on your dash cam. Do not turn around. Don't hit a U turn. Just keep moving, my boy. Keep moving. Translucent figure seems to just fade away as soon as they drive by. In the video, the woman explains their distress as they clearly saw someone that night that almost caused them an accident. Yet, this mysterious being simply disappears. Man has been on his new apartment for one week. Paranormal activity has been happening since then. He has been sleeping in the first floor because strange things have been happening in the second floor. His wife didn't bill of him because she was still in their other apartment in a different state. So he decided to record to send her evidence. Yeah, I'm gonna find another apartment because right there, that goes to show there's really a ghost in there and he's messing with his clothes. So yeah, I would've just packed everything up when it's daytime. I would sleep downstairs, wait till it's the morning time, pack everything up, and I would go ahead, go meet up with the um, the dude at the apartment spot where you know like they sign the papers and stuff like that. I'd be like, yeah, there's a ghost in that apartment, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pack my things and sign the thing and move to a different apartment because that's wild right there. because I'm not paying. I don't know how expensive rent is, but if, I, if there's ghosts in the apartment, I'm moving to another apartment. Even if it costs more or costs less to live there, I don't need to be sleeping knowing that a ghost is just going through my clothes, you feel me? You're not gonna run? Not even after that? Yeah, my boy. <laughs> that goes letting you know once again. This is my apartment, pack your stuff, and dip. That was that was all his warnings. He messed with your clothes, he knocked both your water bottles over. And if your wife still don't believe you, I mean that's on her. You know what I'm saying? Like you seen him with your own eyes, alright? So go ahead and find a different apartment, but that's the best thing you could do. Be careful, bro. Evil ghosts are out here. Nine screens that he recently did. 
Yo, that video made no sense, bro. Like, what's with these small clips that don't make sense? Like, you telling me a dude's just walking and just recording, and there's nothing scary about that. Like, bro. And after living in the city for so long, he was really looking forward to the peace and quiet and the fresh air of this remote location. Unable to resist the wooden house, he purchases it. However, after a few weeks, he began to hear strange noises in the house at night. From time to time, mostly emanating from within the attic. From things like clumps, loud bangs and creaks, and sometimes what sounds like something being dragged across the floor. Mind you, the attic had already been thoroughly inspected along with the rest of the house before we moved in. On one night, he hears these creepy sounds, but this time, it wasn't stopping. So he must have the courage to go and check it out. Take a look. Okay, how much did he pay for this crib? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. If someone coming to me and telling me, I mean, I get it, like, you wanna move out of the city, that's fine. But how much did you pay for this crib? I, I need to know how much you're paying, mortgage all that are you sure they inspected the whole house because you, you know how they do it bro they, they always get you with the yo it's a really nice house you want to get away from the city but there's no ghosts no noises nothing just you know trust me bro always ask how much how much for a creepy house you know or somewhat haunted house or always ask because they're ghosts spirits anything always ask them that because that's how they get you right there they always get you with the oh yeah you're trying to get away from the city all right i got a nice house for you there's nothing wrong with it we'll do a whole inspection for you and there's nothing wrong. It's crazy, y'all. Be careful of those traps. Okay, it's a nice looking place if it's the same video. Okay, you really do hear stuff. I sound like upstairs. I don't know if it's a one story or a two story. Brave soldier right here. Yeah, this just looks sketchy. Yeah, this is super sketchy. Oh, you crazy, Suddenly, bro. Suddenly, the chair in the attic violently moves on its own with a lot of force. Completely full of fear, he just drops his phone and runs out of the house. Damn. After some time to regain his composure, he quickly retrieves his phone. But, still shaken up by his event, he calls his friend and decides to stay at his house for a few days. He has no clue what resides in the attic and the means that he is haunted. All right, y'all. That's it right there. Okay. But like I said, you know, that was a pretty good video. It was okay. There was really nothing crazy scary, honestly, that had me like, you know, yeah. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate it. Sorry about that, y'all. But, um, yeah, that was a pretty good video. It was all right. You know, I feel like it could have been a few more scary things. But I'm still going to give it a thumbs up, though. You know, but um, shout out to Talk Horror Clips. That was pretty good. But like I said, some of the clips that they added, there was nothing scary. You get what I'm saying? Like, it, it didn't make sense. So, um, but yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this. You know, definitely send me videos that I should react to, stuff like that. You know, Reaction's not a full-time thing, but, you know, I'm always down to watch stuff, you know, that you guys want to see me watch or react to. So, I'll catch you guys in the next video.